Hello again, everyone. This is Jan from New York City, and my channel name is Jan from New York City Saves Money. Hey, welcome to Money Saving Wednesdays. You know, money sneaks out of your wallet, and you don't have to do a thing for it to happen. And maybe it's because there are things you have not been doing, and that's the reason why that money is insidiously sneaking out of your wallet. What can we do to stop it? Well, we'll talk about that in a minute. Hey, we're talking about money that's been slipping away from our hands, out of our wallets, flying all over the place. What? What? Yikes. Listen, there are things going on without you even realizing it because you simply forgot. One, how many of you joined the gym with great intention a few months back and you're not using your membership? Hey, that's not fair to you at all. You paid for the membership. Use it. What the heck? You had good intentions. Use it, because if you don't use it, guess what? You're going to lose it. Just saying, just saying. That's one area. Another thing, do you belong to subscription services, to things that, well, might have tickled your fancy at one time, but now it's like, huh? I don't even look at the box when it comes in, and it's piling up somewhere in a corner collecting dust. Please, if you're not using your subscription, I strongly suggest... You cancel it. Just saying. Just saying. And there are some more money wasters that come out from right on the round nose. How about food waste? Hmm. Guess you forgot about that. I'm going to give you a smart tip for the holidays regarding not having food waste. Okay? I'm going to talk about that towards the end of this video. Be right back. waste is a tremendous waste and in my heart and soul it's one of the saddest wasters because there really are people out there who would love to have had that food that you just wasted so think carefully before you waste food just saying not to sound like your mom but i am just saying okay okay bank fees insidious bank fees that are creeping up on you late fees bank fees overdraft fees please for 2020 I don't believe in resolutions, but just make a strong note in your head for 2020 that you're going to be more careful about letting those things slip away. Every single time there's, you know, if you have an overdraft, it could be like, or, or you have to do, a, oh, what do you call it when you, you know, like you have to stop a check, a check stopper, okay? Those are a lot of money. Those stop check fees are a lot of money. If you sit down and add up any mistaken fee from the bank, you will be sadly amazed. That money could have gone towards a payment. Next, misuse and mishandling of credit cards. Not because you're a bad person, but because maybe for some whatever reason, you're not that attentive in that area. You must get very serious about your finances in the months and weeks to come. Start off 2020 on a good slate. And when the new year begins, I'm going to give you specific outlines for that. Okay? Uh, okay, a uh, paying extra for vacations when you could have gotten a cheaper room. If you look around, there are so many options for the same exact room being a whole lot cheaper. You have to do your leg work or finger work or phone work and get the information. The information is out there. Another thing people waste money on, I hate to say this near the holidays, but how many times have you gotten a gift card and put it in like an isolated drawer, you open a drawer, you find four or five gift cards that were never used. Don't do that. That's insulting to the giver that gave it to you, and it's a waste of money, in my opinion. So please stop wasting money. It isn't about what you waste. It isn't only about what you spend. It's about being conscientious. We have to all be a little more aware of where our money's going. Two more tips. Please, please, please start saving money in your utilities. You can do it. You can really, really do it. There are going to be probably new plans and packages with the new year coming up. Keep an eye on that, okay? If you hardly watch TV and you have like two uh, cable boxes all over the place or three, get rid of the spare boxes if they're not in use. You may be paying $7, $10 a month for something you're not even using. Do the math. That's a lot of money, okay? And never, ever, ever forget to figure in your budget, cost of transportation. 
For some reason, when people look for a job, they seem to forget to add up the cost of the transportation from wherever they live to wherever they have to go to work. That's money that can be cut around, work with a friend, do carpooling, whatever it is, bicycle. There are ways to get around saving money and not losing money. In this case, we're talking about not losing money. And if you can work from home, that's a heck of a lot of money you could save on gas, on subways, on buses, etc., etc., etc. When I get back, we're going to talk about saving some of that holiday savor and flavor. Okay, so the holidays are upon us, and before you know it, there'll be history. 2019 holidays will be history, right? Okay, but here's a really cool way to make them last. Utilize those single-serve, individual, I love those food storage containers. It's like making your own TV dinner, except holiday style. Take all that excessive holiday junk. Don't eat it all in three days. Make little servings. Pack them up. Freeze them up. Hey, you could be enjoying your Christmas dinner again like uh, January 20th. Just saying, right? It's a good thought. Anyway, there are ways to hang on to money. Be aware. Stop the leaks. You can do it. And in 2020, we're really going to zoom in on that, all of us, and especially me. In the meantime, this has been Jeff New York City. And my channel name is Jeff New York City Saves Money. Thank you so much for viewing this. I really do appreciate your time. Please don't hesitate to click like and share this video.